YouTube, hello, welcome to another video by Best Laid Plans. So today we're going to look at a miniature oil can with a fully working pump mechanism. I found the designs on the Home Model Engineering Machinists website. Click on download. If you go there, you will find the mini oil can thread. Click in there and you will find some pictures and a zip file where you can download all of the plans needed to build this little tiny oil can. It is beautiful and you will enjoy making it. So click the link, get the plans downloaded and let's look through them. So we have the plans downloaded, they've been printed out and they're now in my little folder. The first page is some text describing how to build it and then here you can see some different view angles of the finished design. Flicking through, you can see that the main body of the container is built with a small piece of tubing and the base is made from a solid lump of brass round bar. Next up we have the lid. This is again a piece of small round bar and the small filler cap is again a smaller diameter piece of round bar. You've got a few options for nozzles. I went with a piece of copper pipe, but you can use a piece of brass round which you drill through, or copper pipe, brass pipe, whatever you like. Here you can see a fully working plunger mechanism. The details are shown here. And last up we have the valve housing. This is the outlet valve body, and this is the inlet valve body. Both can be made from small diameter round bar. Over the page, you can see the assembled inlet valve. It doesn't actually show in the plans, but the inlet valve body and the outlet valve body are actually connected by a small piece of tubing. This piece of tubing needs silver soldering into place, as you can see here. The oil can uses a very simple pump mechanism. The upstroke from the plunger sucks liquid into the plunger mechanism and then when you depress the plunger it then forces it out through the delivery nozzle. The two ball bearings in the assembly create two one-way valves ensuring that the liquid only flows in one direction. I'm just quickly flicking through the plans here looking for the largest diameters required so I can go and have a look through my stock bins and see which material I'm actually going to use for the build. Because I don't have any brass tubing, I've decided I'm going to machine the entire body of the oil can using a single piece of brass round bar. I'm also going to machine the lid from the same piece. Because the filler cap is so much smaller in diameter, I'm going to use a different piece of round bar of a smaller diameter to save on wastage. So, I've had a rummage and this is the materials I'm going to use for the build. This is the large diameter solid brass round which I'm going to use to machine the entire body and base. This smaller piece of round bar will be used to fashion the filler cap and the small valve housings. The hex bar will be used for the two hex nuts. The silver bar is a piece of mild steel and I'm going to use that for the plunger mechanism. And last up is my Moore and Wright micrometers, which are 0 to 25 millimeters, and these will be used for making all of the measurements. For the main body, I just need to make sure that the maximum diameter and the length of the body are actually the right size for my brass stock that I'm planning on using. The other thing to consider is that there are some threaded parts to this build, and so I just need to make sure that the threads are the correct size for the taps and dies that I have available. The plunger mechanism also includes a reamed hole, so I need to make sure that I have the correct size reamer for that part as well. On 
Unfortunately, I don't have M2.5 taps or dies. However, I do have some model engineering taps and dies and also some BA taps and dies. These threads will be replaced for the closest fitting. Last up, there's a few ball bearings that are required for the build, so I just need to check that I have the correct size ball bearings as well. So, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video of this series showing the complete construction and machining of the oil can. See you soon!